Good afternoon. I know it's an anxious time for a lot of us as we're watching what's happening back home in the United States. But I wanted to take a minute to talk again to my fellow Americans here in Greece and share with you a little bit of what's happening at the embassy, what we're doing to advance America's interests here in Greece, and something I know you're all concerned about, um, when we are going to be able to reopen the embassy for American Citizen Services appointments. Um, I want to start by commending uh, Prime Minister Mitsotakis and the Greek government for the really impressive way in which Greece has managed its way through this health emergency. I think all of us count ourselves lucky to be in Greece at a time when the Greek people and the government have worked together so effectively to minimize the impact of the coronavirus pandemic. I also want to say how proud I am of the outstanding cooperation that we've maintained with Minister Kakilias at the Health Ministry, with the Ministry of Digital Policy and Minister Parakakis' team, and with the Ministry of Citizens Protection, Minister Crystal Hulides and his deputies as we have sought to ensure that we have a clear picture of how Greece is addressing this crisis and that Greece also has a picture of what's happening in the United States and how we can work together. I'm also very proud of the role that American companies played, both through their humanitarian support to Greece and the Greek people, but also the technology that has been so important to informing the government's response to this crisis. The Mitsotakis government's fact-based fact scientific approach is one of the reasons that Greece is now beginning to reopen so uh, successfully. And we at the embassy are gradually doing the same following the guidance of the State Department in Washington. As a result of that, we will be able later this month to reopen our consular appointments here in Athens but I want to share with everybody a sense of how this is going to work. First of all, you'll notice some differences. There will be social distancing requirements when you visit the embassy. Uh, we will ask that all of our customers um, use face coverings um, for all of their transactions at the embassy. And we will also ask that people put their paperwork and other preparations together before arriving so that we're able to minimize the waiting time uh, in the consular reception area. Um, we know there is a lot of built-up demand from the time at which our consular operation was closed to public services. We're going to work through that as quickly and efficiently as we can, but we need your support. Uh, we're not going to be able to do it all at once. I also recognize there's a particular demand for American passports. And on that, I would encourage everybody who is eligible to apply for a passport by mail. I also have to point out that with the exception of emergency passports, um, all of our passport documents are printed in the United States. And those, those consular agencies in the United States have also been closed uh, during this lockdown period. So there is a considerable backlog and it will take a little longer than normal to get your document back from the U.S. Uh, all of this information will be available on the consulate website. I encourage everybody to continue to visit it. Uh, you will find updates on our services, the status of appointments, as well as our usual advice to Americans visiting or living in Greece. And in that regard, um, I think we all are going to pay close attention to the messages that will continue to come uh, from the Greek government. I, as always, encourage all American citizens in Greece to sign up at the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program so we're able to know who's out there uh, in case there is a future emergency. And I also wish everybody a healthy, safe, and enjoyable summer here in Greece. It's the most remarkable time of year in this country. And I know my wife Mary and I also look forward to enjoying it. So thank you very much. Be well and uh, kalo kalo keri to everybody.